Nearly two weeks since its initial eruption, the Fagrad Alsfjall volcano on Iceland's Reykjanes Peninsula continues to be active. The gentle nature of the lava flows so far and the volcano's proximity to the city of Reykjavik have allowed many hikers to make the trip to the site and witness the event up close. Here, a handful of recent images of visitors to Iceland's newest volcano. The eruption of a long dormant volcano in southwestern Iceland has drawn large crowds of visitors eager to get close to the lava flows. Many have trekked to the volcano on the Reykjanes Peninsula, near Iceland's capital Reykjavik, since it flared to life Friday night after tens of thousands of earthquakes were recorded in the area in the past three weeks. It was the area's first volcanic eruption in nearly 800 years. On Tuesday, Iceland's civil protection officials were seen gesturing to dozens of people to move away from lava just meters behind them to ensure visitors do not get hurt. One of the officials said a visitor tried to cook bacon and eggs on the lava, but the pan melted in the heat. Italian photographer Vincenzo Mazza, who lives in Iceland, was one of those who got a close look at the slow-flowing lava. I've been waiting for many years to see an eruption in Iceland, he said. I saw some eruptions in Italy, like Etna and Stromboli, but this is absolutely different. I can't say, this is more beautiful than that, because they are very different, but this lava glowing just so close to us, it's insane, Mazza said. The glow from the lava could be seen from the outskirts of Iceland's capital, Reykjavik, about 32 kilometers, 20 miles, away. Icelandic officials said they did not anticipate evacuations because the volcano is in a remote area, about 2.5 kilometers, 1.5 miles, from the nearest road. An Icelandic volcano located near Mount Fagrad Als Fjall in Gelding Adler recently erupted. Dormant for more than 6,000 years, the eruption spewed lava that reached a height of more than 300 feet. Soon after the eruption, many took to social media to share videos and images of the incident. One such video has now left people with questions. It shows a group of people playing volleyball in front of the erupting volcano. Shared on Instagram by professional Icelandic volleyball player Thelma Gratars, the video has left many stumped. Pepper challenge with awesome people and freezing cold of minus 12 degrees reads the caption shared along with the video. Since being posted, the video has gathered nearly 39,000 views and tons of comments. While some expressed their concerns, many were left surprised. Volcanic activity has somewhat decreased in the Reykjanes Peninsula in Iceland, southwest of the capital Reykjavik, where a volcano erupted Friday night, the the Icelandic Meteorological Office, IMO, announced Saturday. The current eruption is small with the volcanic activity having decreased somewhat in the area, the agency said on Twitter. The eruptive fissure is approximately 500 to 700 meters long according to the EMO with the lava area spanning less than one square kilometer. 
Despite this reduction in activity, the lava flows still pose a local hazard. The emo said gas pollution is not expected to cause much discomfort for people except close up to the source of the eruption, a further tweet added. The EMO is continuing to monitor the gas emissions following Friday's spectacular eruption which caused authorities to direct citizens away from the major Rake Jane's Broad Highway. Concerns were raised about the proximity of the volcano to the country's main airport, Keflavik International Airport, which is just a 25 minutes car ride from the peninsula. The aviation color code for the airport was lowered from red to orange on Saturday due to predictions of minimal ash fall by the EMO. Iceland's Department of Civil Protection and Emergency Management advised Friday night that people within several miles of the volcano close their windows and stay indoors to avoid the effects of volcanic gas in the air. Volcanic gas pollution is expected to extend as far as Orlukshafen and to continue into the night. People are asked close windows and stay indoors. The status and amount of SO2 emissions from the eruption are being assessed, the agency tweeted late Friday. The eruption comes after weeks of increased seismic activity on the peninsula with some 400 earthquakes detected in the region on Thursday morning alone, according to the EMO. This is somewhat less seismic activity in comparison to previous mornings where the numbers have been around 1,000 earthquakes, the EMO added in a tweet on Thursday.